Houston, we don't have a problem. Today we want to talk about Newton's second law. So Isaac Newton came up with this second law. Remember in the last video we talked about forces and what a force is. So if you haven't watched that video, I'd encourage you to flick back and watch what that video is. All right, so remember a, a force is a push on a pull on object that causes acceleration. So it must cause acceleration. All right, so let's make that, write that down. So a push or a pull that causes acceleration, which leads us, so what has to be accelerated? There's another term that we have not defined yet, and that is the term mass. So let's talk about mass. What is mass? Mass is a measure of the quantity. Now, a mistake people uh, make is that mass is not the same as weight. So for example, I might have a mass of 50 kilograms, but that's not my weight. Okay, weight is actually a force, and it's measured in newtons. So I have a weight of, let's say, 500 newtons. But if I were to go to the moon, my weight would be less. You've heard probably that you weigh less on the moon but your mass is the same. So my mass will be a consistent, say, 60 kilograms or something like that. Then my weight, my weight, though, will change. It'll be, about a, it'll be one sixth is what it is on the Earth, on the moon that it is on the Earth, because there's, the moon is less massive. It's actually, we'll learn more about gravity and how that works. It's, it's attraction of two objects for each other. So mass is not the same thing as weight. So if you think about it, force and acceleration have mass in the equation. And the equation is this, okay? When you apply a force to a mass, it causes acceleration. So you write F over M is A. That's Newton's second law right there. Sometimes, by the way, it's written as just F equals MA. But it actually is more correct because it makes sense. The force of a certain mass causes an acceleration, um, right? If I apply a force to a certain mass, and the bigger the mass, the lower the acceleration. That makes sense, doesn't it? The bigger the force, the bigger the acceleration. So I have an object, right? It's on a plane, and I'm going to apply a force to it. If this is a super heavy box, think of it a box, right? If I've got a one kilogram box versus a 10 kilogram box, the acceleration, if I apply the same force, is going to be a lot less because I've got a big heavy box versus a small light box. Or if I were to increase the force, make it a stronger force, the arrow indicates it's a stronger force, then that will cause it to accelerate more. All right. Now, what are the units on newtons? Now, we've said the unit on force is a newton, and it is. But let's think about it for a moment. If this is the equation, F equals ma, the unit for m is a kilogram. That makes sense, right? And a, we've learned in previous uh, uh, classes, is acceleration. And that's in meters per second squared. So if you think of one, and that's equal to one newton. So one newton is if you had one kilogram and you accelerated it one meter per second squared. And that's one newton of force. Now let's also then finish off with a conversation about weight. So if I have an object on the earth, okay, a box, it could be you, it makes no difference. There is always a force of G, which stands for the force of gravity always pushing down, right? And the force of gravity is equal to m. Now, it's really a, but I'm going to not put a. I'm going to put a little g, where little g is the acceleration of gravity. Now, we're on the Earth, and the acceleration of gravity, as you know, is 9.8 meters per second squared, right? And so the force of gravity of any object will be its mass times 9.8. Now, 9.8 is pretty close to 10. So if you want to kind of do big round figures, um, if I have a mass of 60 kilograms, and g is approximately 10, that's 9.8, we can get more precise, then my weight is 600 newtons. Does that make sense? So it's, it's a little less, it's 590 something probably, but it's basically 60 times 10. So whatever that is, it could be a five kilogram object, a little box or something like that, and of course it's 50. Five. So it's easy to kind of remember what's the weight of an object, it's that mass times 10-ish. Anyways, that's Newton's. I think you'll figure that out. And then, uh, yeah, next video, we want to talk about how 
force is a vector. Houston, we don't have a problem. 